Hello everybody, my name is Blue Order and welcome to the reaction video. Alright, so this is Infinity Train Book 2, Episodes 5 and 6. Now from what I've heard, this is where things start to get a little crazy. I know that the episodes from here on out are probably like back to back. So we're going like full on action sequence here. Well, let's go. This is like the end game. And right now, Book 3 hasn't been confirmed. Hey yeah, it's future me. Yes, I am aware of Book 3. No, please do not say anything about it. I want to be surprised when it actually comes out. And that also means, no, I'm not, I'm not watching the trailer. So yeah, uh, don't say anything. So what we know is that when Infinity Train got greenlit, it was greenlit for 20 episodes. So they've already had book two done and like planned. So if for whatever god awful reason there isn't a book three, you know that book two is going to kind of wrap up the whole story, at least the Tulip and MT arc. Again, this is like an anthology series that could work with like multiple different protagonists, as demonstrated right here. But alright, enough about that, let's just get right in. This is episode five and six. The Parasite Car, oh that sounds pleasant. The next episode has cat in the title. Uh oh. I don't trust it. Something I should do in three, two, one. Do you know my reflection? We don't all know each other. I don't know, yeah. So now Jesse no, knows the deal. Oh, okay, Alan, where are you going? Oh. Parasites, though, because, uh, yeah, this is the flowers. There's going to be parasites everywhere. Oh, shit. Alright, so yeah, they're getting along. This is nice. <laughs> Oh, you sneezing. Oh, no, he's got a parasite now. He's got like ticks on him. Get him out and get that out of there. But you're not doing either. Yeah, you want to do your own thing. Those are some shitty options. If someone, not me, practices kissing in a mirror, can their reflection see them doing it? Uh oh. Asking for a friend. Oh, you stepped in mud. By the way, again, art styles. Come on, Casanova. Hey, I said someone else. <laughs> there you go. I don't want that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Laser away those vines. Watch. I'll just explode into more blood. No. Uh, thanks. That's more like it, Alan Dracula. Hey, wow. Thank you. No, it's the parasite. It's like taking over Alan's mind. What's in your mouth? Hey, nice to meet you. Hopped aboard your... Yeah. Perry? Hey, where's Perry? He's in the mouth. Get him out of there. Can read this guy's mind, and let me tell you, he likes you both very much. Aww. Almost as much as grass, which uh, seems to occupy every other waking thought. Ha <laughs> Alan can still think for himself? Oh, sure. Old Antlerhead loves this new setup. I don't know. As long as it's not hurting. Yeah, I mean, I would say that, but I feel like there's he's lying to something. Again, it's called the Parasite Car. Oh. That's unsettling. Hello, APD. <laughs> Maybe we can give Perry a shot. I don't trust him. I don't trust him either. I don't blame you. They really call the parasite car. No way am I. Oh, hey, he's like enlarging him. Don't do it. Stop doing that. <laughs> but you said no adult hands. This is a baby. That's so cursed. I'm so shy, baby. I'm head hunches here at Sashay's Runway Fairway. Wow. Breast to impress with finesse. Oh, all right. Like some of these cars, we should just climb over. All right, get out there. Start walking. You may exit. Oh, you're all good. Okay. Oh, N Miku. <laughs> I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku! You may exit. Wow, cool. Alright. <laughs> no more Miku. Before he steals yours. Before he steals your oh yeah, I mean, hmm. Ah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh? Oh, that was stylish. Getting tens. Oh shit, a million. Alright, get out of here, yeah. Hey, hey, I don't know personal space. I thought Alan Dracula liked that. No, 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 don't you do that. Something ain't right here. Oh, food pyramid. I'm also hungry for real food! Yeah, Jesse, haven't you been all good here? Like, you, you haven't been eaten. Wait, what are you doing? Alan Dracula's a vegetarian. Oh. No, something ain't right. Get him out of there. Alan's wa Alan wants him out of there. Hello! Where are his powers going here? I don't know. It's the freaking shithead in his mouth. I'm pretty sure I'm the same size. No, you ain't. But you'll be stuck with a deer who doesn't listen to you. Too bad. He was all good before. I could use some help. All right, well, then get out. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Here. Crumple up the flower. That works. Oh, sneeze. Get the fuck out of there. Hey, little dude. Yeah. <laughs> 
So what is up with Alan then? Like, what is he? Where did he come from? Because again, he was hinted during the, the shorts and stuff. Going down a bit. Don't know what lesson was that, but... Now, whose mouth am I hopping in next? No. Nah, you stay in here. You'll have plenty of food. Goodbye. Alright. So unless he comes back, I didn't think this episode had too much effect. I think he most likely might be coming back. This next one, something's gonna happen. Also, especially because it's called the Lucky Cat Car. Oh, hey. How you doing? It's not alive, Ding Dong. We don't know that. That is true, yeah. <laughs> oh, carnival car? Does that mean you have a bunch of reflections stuck in the mirror? No, all the reflections are me. Whoa. Oh. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> points. You gotta use them to win them, friends. Did you just get a new job as a fucking kick? Now people pay to kick me. Oh, all right. Hey, look at him go. Hey, wait a minute. I know every continuity mistake. No, 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 no. You on kazoo? You've given yourself quite the makeover, kitten. Oh, no. no, yeah, different one. No reflection. I've never seen one of your kind in the prime world. Hmm. How did you know that I... Well, because you're reflective. She's a world-class con artist. Ah, yes. I mean, then again, you were... You didn't want to help the conductor, which was just Amelia, but... Want to exit? Have to win. Uh, I don't trust you still. You have a competitor. Who's this? Is that another passenger? There can be only one exit window. Oh, hell no. Nah. I do not trust you at all. Uh-oh. Can Alan, like, just melt the bars that are blocking the door? Can he help out? I... I almost just made, like, a Yoda joke for a second there. I'm always disappointed in myself. Please see them. They don't have a number, do they? We have a winner! Randall, what's up? Be careful, wait, isn't he a reflection? Isn't the dude's gonna come out? I have to give more points to win under the number. Passengers get preferential treatment because they have a greater need to exit the car. Oh. Uh. Want to buy a donut holer? <laughs> what's wrong with this place? I don't know. Yeah, I was been pointing out that you're so stuck here. Wanna... Everyone on this train wants me to fail. Hey, I don't want you to fail and I'm a... Yeah, there you go. Once my number gets to zero, we're all leaving anyway. What? I didn't think... Yeah. You want us to come with you? Yeah. Me to come with you? Come on. Can you come with us though? Like it would be suck if you you're stuck here. Oh. Just okay. Learn more life lessons. I guess I should. Yeah. Let's go. Something's gonna go wrong. Oh, hello. Ha <laughs> ha. No, no, no. They're not cheating. Shut up. Alright, what's your deal? Hey, there you go! You're just gonna leave without your deer then? Oh, come on. No, he's in there! Are you kidding me? You gotta win him. It's a race to the finish! Oh, God. Technically, all you need is just get your number to zero. So if you learn life lessons in here, you should be good. There you go, get him. Run! Go, mommy! Mommy! Fucking shut up! Get out of here! Do be quiet, Arnold. <laughs> A win is a win. Oh no. Just rush him. Rush him. Get through the door. Oh, who the fri- Oh, those are the little shit kids. That's from the cake thing, I think. They're stealing. I think the final final thing is to stop these people. Didn't realize you're like super precious about this car. Well, it's just the right thing to do to not screw everything up. Hey kid, what's your number at? Four? We'll have to fix that back in my base. Come on. What? Oh no, they're gonna manipulate Jesse. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll fucking punch you. This isn't over, Grace. Try me, the cat. Alright, Grace. Screw you. Bring them back to the base. No, don't freaking go with them. Just like leave somewhere else. Yeah, no, why would you fucking that's why. They're being little shits. Oh god. Alright, hopefully MT stops Jesse from getting peer pressure. Cause again, he's susceptible to peer pressure that's his whole thing that's why he's on here he's about to get off but then grace comes in with her screwed up mind also how's amelia doing she was at like a million she was at like a billion numbers there i'm wondering if there's going to be closure for amelia after this or if that story is just kind of left vague because then again this is an anthology series like they could always have amelia be a protagonist in another book and again i just i, I 
The creative freedom that they set up with this whole premise, the fact that any car can be something new, it's like, leaves so much to creativity. It's freaking awesome. And again, anthology series, so anyone can be a protagonist. You can tell any story. The first one was about like divorce and like family and stuff like that. This one's about like self-acceptance and not being peer pressured. Not entirely sure yet. All right, well, hope you all enjoyed this reaction video and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. I, I almost just made like a Yoda joke for a second there. I'm almost disappointed in myself. Ah!